Welcome back everybody to Forza Motorsport and today we're dealing, taking a look at the 2019 Toyota 86 TRD SE. So this is part of the first generation that was produced between 2012 and 2021. And yeah, the TRD stands for Toyota Racing Development and the SE stands for Special Edition. And yeah, it's very much a special edition vehicle because only 1,418 units of this were actually produced. So extremely rare in comparison to the standard, you know, 86 GT. And uh, yeah, this is for the most part a visual and handling upgrade over the standard car. But it does have a little bit of extra power and torque from its now from its 2 litre flat 4 engine. So same size as the uh, standard 86 but it now has 205 horsepower and 156 pounds-feet of torque so it's 8 horsepower over the standard version and 5 extra pounds-feet of torque so not a huge amount by any means but definitely makes a little bit of a difference on the when you want to get up and go uh, it does weigh a little bit more than the standard version though at 2,837 pounds so it's roughly about 100 pounds more but that extra power and torque does more than make up for it and because it has all of these handling extras on it such as Sax dampers, front and rear Brembo brakes, new 18 inch wheels, grippier tyres and a more aggressive body kit that means that overall it handles better than it did before and it also looks a little bit different and a little more aggressive as well on top of that than it did before as well so um, yeah I overall, overall like the look of it, it's also got these TRD decals down the side but it is only available in black this car and along with those decals as well but Still, I uh, think it looks a pretty handsome car, to be honest. Looks a little bit better than it did before, thanks to the more aggressive body kit, the decals, the new wheels, and uh, yeah, some of that, you know, colouring has kind of transferred onto the interior as well, with this red and black interior, which again, I uh, really rather quite like. So uh, yeah, in terms of looks and whatnot, this has plenty of aspects going for it. Um, Obviously, if you were a fan of the standard of the car in terms of how it looks, then I don't see any reason why you wouldn't like this one. But maybe you like the more simpler design that that had going on. But nonetheless, let's get out onto the track and see what this car can do. Right, here we are at Laguna Seca. So, as per usual, we'll uh, see what the car sounds like for a little bit, and then we'll talk about it some more. Yeah, it definitely sounds a little bit more aggressive in terms of its engine. No, the exhausts have actually been slightly changed. So, um, yeah, it does sound a bit more aggressive. It sounds a little bit more muscly. And, yeah, that definitely uh, leans into the way that the car now looks overall as well with its new body kit. And, yeah, I find this to be a much better handling car than the uh, standard GT86. I always found that car to be a little bit too loose for my liking. I know the whole point of that car was to be a little bit more fun than you know typical sports cars which rely on a lot of grip and you know how much g they can get from corners and the like but i think it went a little bit too far in that regard whereas where you know the oversteer was a little bit too much at times and uh, yeah obviously because it was you know a more mainstream vehicle it was set up more for you know street driving more than anything on the track whereas this does feel like it leans a little bit more to being a track car than a uh, typical day-to-day -day driving car which isn't to say that you know it's uh, lost any of its you know practicality or anything like that it's still got a uh, you know a boot and whatnot and you know it's still got passenger seats uh, but yeah just in terms of the way it drives it just feels a lot more secure and a lot better which is no doubt due to those new dampers and especially due to the uh, grippier tyres, 
and uh, 060 is also dealt with in a pretty quick uh, 6.3 seconds going to 116.4 seconds and onto a top speed of 140 miles an hour now I'm not sure if that's any quicker than the GT86 because unfortunately we do not have one to compare it to in this game and even though we do have the Subaru BRZ we only have the newer version with the slightly larger engine on that to, uh, to compare to so which obviously has about 23 extra horsepower so can't quite compare it against that but still yeah it definitely feels fast enough and because obviously it handles better than the standard GT86 even if you know the extra weight means that the extra power and torque isn't really making much of a difference you are at the end of the day going to be able to carry more speed from the corners and brake a lot later as well so around the track you should be faster despite that additional weight so yeah overall I really like this car it's just more of the same in terms of the positives of the standard car but improving any of its flaws on top of that which is no bad thing so yeah this is part of the car pass and it's one of the only I think, two or three road cars that we've had on the car pass so far so yeah it's nice to see that we've got another one but the car pass for now has been quite underwhelming so yeah but this uh, sort of makes up for some of the uh, track only vehicles that we've had in that car pass so far but yeah it's a little bit too late as, as it is because there's very few cars left in the car pass to go after this one but still it's a pretty good car and uh, yeah a nice one to drive and I'm sure it'll be pretty handy online racing as well nonetheless so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye